Hey everybody, what is up? I am trying to talk not very loud because my husband is sleeping. He works overnight, so I don't want to wake him. I hope you can hear me. If not, then I'll have to totally delete this video and that would suck. But anyway, I'm starting a vlog and in this vlog, I thought I would feature, <sighs> trying to catch my breath, my weekly grocery haul. So keep in mind, I do have some things. I do have some ground beef. I do have some things here, so I just picked up things we needed to get through the week um, from Walmart and Dollar Tree. Those are the two main places I go. And let's start this vlog. I'm trying to be quiet, but I want to be loud enough where y'all can hear me. And if you're new, I would love for you to subscribe. I keep it real. I'm still in my pajamas. Okay, my kitchen is a mess, so try to overlook that. Um, we picked up some grapes yesterday. We always usually get grapes or some kind of fruit. I got one pound of ground beef chuck. My husband picked up some smoked sausage. That is for him. Um, we got Mission Homestyle Tortillas. We had tacos last night. They were really good. Um, they didn't have green bell peppers, and that's usually what I go for, but I got two orange bell peppers and I really like this one it's a, like a little sweeter in taste and I had it in my tacos y'all it was so good and then my husband picked up this con country farmhouse smoked bacon so he loves bacon oh and then my daughter Abigail got these brownies she loves these things she's addicted um and then I got these bow tie noodles just for an easy kind of meal to make some pasta. Um, some of these things you may see in other hauls because some some of the we get some of the th same things sometimes. Um, and then I got shrimp. We always eat shrimp once a week. Um, I got these Kellogg's Eggos waffle cereal. The girls asked for honeycomb cereal, but I didn't see it at Walmart, so I picked up this. I thought this was probably pretty similar and then we're moving so we're not cooking much this week we got three pizzas the great value supreme pizza this is more for me and then we got two of the tony's pepperoni pizzas okay and then we're going to make spaghetti this week my daughter loves the classico four cheese spaghetti sauce we got some hot dog buns um, we got, um, this cheesy ranch chicken, which is really easy. You just put it in the skillet. We really like this one. And then we got a bag of potatoes. My, I want to do some baked potatoes this week. And also my husband made fries last night. It was so good. We got two lemonades. We always get nature's own honey wheat bread. Um, we got two packs of weenies <laughs> and then um, I love look at my socks y'all excuse my dirty floor yeah they don't match I love socks cuz these socks it's that time of year I always love socks though but y'all this is six pair of these cozy warm socks six pairs for five dollars I couldn't pass up that deal so I got that and then after we relax tonight after I clean <laughs> We're going to watch The Santa Claus. I just thought that would be a good movie to watch together. And we didn't have it. So I'm trying to collect more Christmas movies. And this is a good one. Okay, guys. Now we're on to Dollar Tree stuff. And let me just go ahead and talk about the cleaning products. Because I'm deep cleaning the bathroom at my mom's house. So we can move in. And it was really filthy. Um, and I cleaned with mostly Dollar Tree products. Um... So I picked up this Fabuloso Refreshing Lemon, and I haven't picked up Fabuloso in a while, but someone was talking about how good it was on YouTube recently, so I thought I should pick that up. And then my husband said that this is a really good one, this Pine Saw Multi-Surface Cleaner, so we got that. And then this Bathroom Cleaner Home Store brand. And you know that your life is different and simple when you get excited to buy simple toilet br brushes from Dollar Tree. I'm serious. I was excited to go to Dollar Tree to buy toilet bowl brushes. That, that, that's my life. Um, yeah, so I got two of them. 
and then I picked up this small Lysol clean and fresh and it is lavender I love lavender scents so and then I got this snuggle homemade pie air freshener and it's limited edition I actually got three of these I've already used some um, I really love apple scents and then we need a new toothpaste and we got this Colgate sparkling white cinnamon how many ounces 4.0 okay and then to go with our sandwiches we picked up these kosher baby dill pickles my husband picked up some vegetable oil picked up some grapes oh these aren't grapes oh mom brain tired brain olives and then I picked up some asparagus y'all know I love these my husband picked up some gum also picked up this Chicago caramel and cheddar popcorn. I bet that's really good. And he also picked up this strawberry cream cookies. We also got toilet paper. And this next thing is really exciting. So I got this from my daughter Abigail. And it is a, she's always asking me if she can plant something or grow something. So I saw this, it's an animal planter grow kit. And there, there's there's different ones they had. They have different names, Winston, Paul, Maggie. So I picked this one because it says, hello, my name is Penny. For y'all that don't know, my mom's name is Penny. So I, I saw that and I was like, I have to have it. Plus it's a penguin and I'm, I'm obsessed with penguins. So I showed that to Abigail and she can't wait to do that. It's pretty simple. I think it's something good for kids. This might have been the Dollar Tree Plus and not, it might have not been a dollar, I can't remember. And then we got two frozen meals for my husband. Chicken nuggets and fries, these banquet meals. And then these two are mine, these Asian beef and broccoli. Hi guys, it is Monday, what is up? So I am in my new bathroom here. This was my mom's bathroom. Um, I deep cleaned it yesterday. I didn't feel myself cleaning it because it was so dirty. Like it was really embarrassing to show it before. I had to really scrub the floors. Like I said, I kind of let the dogs run all over the house so you can only imagine how filthy it was. I'll go ahead and show you what it's like now clean. And just keep in mind that this house is older so you're not going to see like brand new things. But the, the main point is it's clean. I got it clean so me and my family can move in. And my daughter Abigail is here. You want to say hi? Hi. I'm trying to cut this. Oh, hi, hi. oh hold on. I'll help you, okay? No. So I went to Dollar Tree just now. Me and her went to Dollar Tree to get liners um, so we can organize. We brought all of our hair accessories and stuff over here. This isn't a decorate video. The decorate video will be up probably later this week because I'm going to decorate for Christmas in here. But this is just us putting up our essentials, our shampoos, our conditioners in here. Oops, Oops. stick on daddy's lotion. Yeah, straightener, the big ones we can put. Can you wrap that up a little bit? Can you wrap it up, Tyler? There you go. Okay guys, now I'm just putting my face mask, hair mask into this little container I have here. This is from Dollar Tree. 
most of these face masks are actually from Dollar Tree, but oh, here's some nose strips. I've never done these. I, I only bought those for my husband because he has one in Trump. Um, and this is a Spa Life face mask. I guess I just wanted to show y'all. This one looks really good. But yeah, I really need to do these face masks. As you can tell, I have a lot and I've just been neglecting myself. So I definitely need to do that and get on with it. This is a hand mask. I've never done a hand mask. Have y'all ever done a hand mask? <laughs> My daughter's making me laugh while I'm doing this voice over. So I do apologize. Okay, now I have this big basket here, and I'm just putting all these products that I don't would normally use on a day-to-day -day basis. I'm putting them in this basket, and this will go on the top shelf because these are products that I want to keep, but like I said, it's just not stuff I'm going to reach for every day, so I think it's best to put it away. Now, I got some cotton swabs, and instead of keeping them in their container, this is a very beautiful glass my mom had, I don't know where in the world she got it, but I want to put my cotton, I thought, I think she had cotton balls in here before, but I'm gonna put my cotton swabs in here because we always, well, need to use this. We always use it, yeah. I do apologize if that sounds weird. I am a little loony over here. My kids are hanging over my shoulder as I do this voiceover and I am just exhausted from moving and everything else. And I thought I would put all my Bath and Body Works sprays in this basket up front where I can see them. I'm putting like the salt, the salt, the spring-like scents in the back and then my fall scents that I'm using right now in the front and these are almost empty this lotion may be in a future empties video so look out for like that but i really like the looks hey guys, of it i'm going to show you all the bathroom now how kind of organized move some of our stuff in here like you saw i have my lotions cotton swabs i have a big empty space here for decorating for christmas so i'm excited um i have a few medicines in here let me close this and then the stuff I don't really use that much I have up there where I can't reach. Have my wash rags, face mask. Here's some shampoos. And I the liner from Dollar Tree really didn't work or I didn't like it. So I'm just putting a towel down for liner. Um, down here is where I would keep cleaning products, but I don't have I still have the cleaning products at my apartment right now. And then here's where we would keep our toothbrushes. Um, and this is a liner here. And then here, this is like my oils, makeup removers. Abigail helped me here. And this is first aid, facial wipes, a few other things. And these are all of our hair accessories. And then here are my hair dryer and straightener. Okay. And then here's the toilet, the clean toilet. And I think this is really cool. My mom had this. And so that's where our toilet roll is. And here for an extra toilet paper is in there. I think that's really cute. And these pigs are from Dollar Tree. They're really cute right there, but they probably won't be staying there because... I am decorating soon for Christmas. How's the bed making going? Awful. The hard? Kind of. A lot of steps, huh? Yeah. <laughs> like you saw yesterday, they don't. They, they don't. don't really come helping. Yeah, the instructions aren't. The instructions aren't. there. They're really messed up. <laughs> Hey everybody, 
what is up? It is now Tuesday morning and I feel like my phone camera is a little blurry and I don't really know why. I've tried to wash it off and clean it, but this is how it goes, you guys. So enjoying my coffee. Can y'all see the steam? Anyway, there's steam coming out. <laughs> what is up? So, okay, we are back. So it is, like I said, Tuesday morning. What else am I gonna say? Um, okay, so we bought a bunk bed from Amazon. It came in the mail. We got it. I think we received it on Sunday. We didn't start trying to put it together until Monday. And let me just say, this bunk bed has been giving us hell. It's a lot of, lot. honestly, my husband's doing most of the work. Me and my daughter, Penelope, just kind of hold things up so he can screw things in. And honestly, we're not done yet. It is day three. Also, he has to work too, so he can't spend like all the time on the bunk bed so we're doing that I'm still selling stuff I have sold my entertainment center and this old very old couch from my, well I didn't sell it no wait that, that's wrong I didn't sell it this morning a big donation truck came and picked it up and anyway it went to donation because it was in such bad shape that I don't think I could sell it so yeah that is what is going on it is extremely dark in here Look at all our boxes and tub I'm, I mean, this place is still a mess. Like I said, it's not like we're moving into a brand new house. We still have furniture here. Dewey is with me. And yes, Dewey. So as we were packing stuff up last week, and putting things in these storage bins. So I have a whole like box that's like my makeup and my jewelry. It's called Tiffany's Beauty Beauty Care. And I did something stupid. And I listened to my husband, which was not smart. So my husband said, um, we were packing my makeup, and usually I have just like one makeup bag that has my main mascara I use every day, and like, you know, my basic makeup. And for some reason, I packed it all together with my other makeup and jewelry. So I haven't um, worn makeup the last two weeks. No. Nope. So, which, I mean, it's not that big of a deal because I don't reach her makeup as much as I used to and plus I'm moving. But I just feel like I have no self-esteem right now. Well, I don't know if that's the right thing to say, but I just like haven't been caring for myself. I've just been doing the basics and I need to do something for myself, put on some kind of makeup because I'm just feeling like I'm always like in the same Halloween leggings, you know, and ah, this is so blurry and dark. I hate this. So yeah, I'm going to get my makeup. Oh, and this is what my husband said. This is the kicker. As we were putting my makeup and jewelry in the box, I said, I said, but what if I need this makeup and stuff? I said, you know, I may need some to stay out. And he said, we're moving. You're not going anywhere. You don't need me. Pretty much he's saying I don't need makeup at all because I'm moving and that's it. But I gotta have something, do something to myself because it ain't working out. It's, I need some kind of like self care, self something. I mean, yes. So I'm gonna get dig my makeup out of my beauty care box and yes. I'm gonna show y'all like what it's like in here. So I don't know if you remember, there was a couch right here that's gone. The donation people came and got that and there was a huge blue like turquoise entertainment center here you can see how dirty these floors are i'm about to get my swiffer swiffer out and he's with me he's keeping me company and i'm about to like this is where the entertainment center was gross yes and yeah we're not gonna worry about the walls those are gonna get painted later but what the hell is this okay we got a pumpkin <laughs> My daughter hung this on the curtain. Okay, so I got two rocking chairs here. Now the reason they are there is because I sold them on Facebook Marketplace, but I didn't want to leave them out on my porch where they usually are because this is money right here. So I moved them in and just, she's gonna be here in a couple of hours. Um, these are the huge boxes from for the bunk beds. Look y'all, it was three big boxes that were super, super heavy. I just want to get that over with and we have a lot of crap over here once I move in I'm gonna get rid of all this but like I said I have a lot of crap I just needed to put it somewhere so I don't have many shoes either I'm, I'm starting to get more interested this isn't all my shoes I have a few more pairs but I mean 
this is most of it, you guys. Um, these pretty burgundy ones my mom gave me. I think they're from Ross. These I got this year from Walmart. These I got at a Goodwill. Um, and then I have these Time and True ones. I have my old Nike shoes. And um, so I brought this little bag over here. And my, I don't know, my husband got this sign from work. Thank your dishes don't do themselves. If you use them, wash them. <laughs> And I just brought some stuff over here. We got a bunch of bar soap we're going to be using. Yardley soap from Dollar Tree. So, yeah. So, I'm glad my husband stocked up for years ago. And then, I got this picture of my mama. Took that off the wall at the apartment. Brought it over here. Got my little pig frame. And I'm going to have to dig in here. Because, like I said, I want my makeup. <laughs> I'm going to get digging here. Where is it? It's this box right here that has the T on it. Tiffany's Beauty Care. has some jewelry and makeup because I hope that on Thanksgiving I can wear some makeup. I don't know. That's just me. Okay, Tiffany's Beauty Care. Look for my makeup. My stuff. You know what? Probably what I need is probably at the bottom, the bottom of this container. Okay guys, so if you're moving in the future, don't be dumb like me and pack away all your makeup that you'll want to wear. Yeah, so I, I found my little bag here. Um, most importantly to me was the Bambi Eye Mascara that I've been using. That and some black eyeliner. My mom had this room in her room and she never used it. This Maybelline Amethyst eyeliner that looks really pretty. I can't wait to wear this. Yeah. Okay, guys. So I'm about to clean this floor, and I'm using this Fabuloso. Um, I'm using a Swiffer, but I'm I'm dropping. I thought I dropped some of this Fabuloso on the floor to clean with. I actually saw a fellow YouTuber do this. I, I'm not sure if she was using a Swiffer, but anyway, she was using Fabuloso, and it's been so long since I've used Fabuloso, and she was just saying how much how good it smells. So. Anyway, that's what I'm cleaning with, and you're going to see how disgusting this is. But anyway, thank you so much for watching, and thank you if you made it all the way to the end of the video. I so appreciate y'all, and thank you for being here. Love you guys.